my glasses? Uh, Where are my glasses? Oh, uh, ahoy hoy, Tricky Luggers. Ahoy, How's everybody doing today? We are not running behind today at oh, all. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, I'll tell you what happened, and it's just the absolute truth. We both got so absorbed in, like, taking in Fabuland information. Yeah, I was sitting at my desk. we completely missed our five-minute call. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I was sitting start. at my desk, I was like, oh, okay, in 19, was it 79, <laughs> and new earth tone colors? Yeah, exactly. And then I hear this, oh my god, yeah. from the other room. Yeah, and I heard, well, our it stage was manager o'clock. was telling us that it was yeah. time to start the music, and I hadn't even, oh my goodness. Anyway, so, hi! On a return to casual, welcome <laughs> to the Tricky Bricks build and chat. I'm Richard, and that's Flynn. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Let's say hi to everyone. Hi everybody. Let's see who's who is here today. Um, and as always, all right. Now it's time for the glasses, for the glasses to say goodbye. To come off now that you know who the we are. The glasses have come off, and we're starting the show. This is your your superhero. Yes. Um, hey, so it's hi to Fourth World Adam. Uh, ben Dury is here. Brickworm. Brickworm. Cornado. Hey Corey. Uh, see you later, Dave Robinson. David Robinson. Hey Dave. Fallen Tree 23, how's it going? Okay, Brixie, Eric is here, awesome. Hooded uh, One. Hooded One, Insane Legos fan, JMW Music, John Luttrell, Matthew Builds Bricks, Mini Fig Chick, uh, followed by Mini Fig Nick. Yep, Monica Berry, or Remy Baker, uh, Rob Ketcherside, The Brick Orphanage, The Hornburgers, how's it going? Hi, all of you Hornburgers. Um, the Jammy Bricker. Zach uh, Highmark and Zach Martinez, the two Zachs together, and of and course Alyssa. Alyssa. Um, so hi everybody. I hope you're having an awesome uh, uh, day today. I don't know. We are, and uh, uh, everyone on Facebook as well, and everyone who we don't see in the chat. Hi. Yes. We're oh. glad you're here. We're gonna have super fun today. Oh, and look, uh, Christopher Chalice just showed up. Oh, uh, Maraid is here. Osorg is hi, here. The Zaccardis are here. Hoy hoy. Hi, all the Zaccardis, too. So, um, gosh, so we actually have a lot to get through today. We do. So you made a script. I had to make a script because well, we have a lot of stuff to talk about. I think we should go straight to. Oh, what did I do with it? I had my cute little. There we go. I'm feeling like okay, I so am we, sometimes. And I think we kind of figured this out. So, uh-oh, mm -hmm. what's that? Oh, no, the, the focus things. thing? So we'll see. All right. So I'm from um, Epcot Center. We've got one of the Epcot yep, signs go. there. Mm -hmm. Hey, Steve. Steve Parmley's here. How's it going, Steve? Very science-y Steve. And I am yeah. wearing um, Rapunzel's uh, pink chameleon. Of course, because that chameleon doesn't today. seem like they're they're too sure about it. <laughs> yeah, look, we uh, a super low tech solution made that focus work. I know, better. right? I know. Yes, I love this little chameleon pen. It's cute. It was it's like bright pink. It's very fun. Oh my goodness! But really, uh, pretty much every Disney pin is fun, wouldn't you say? I think so. There's there's. I'm having fun with them. I didn't wear these outside of the parks before um, our show. Well, there you go. Yep. All right. Although, in the 80s, I used to have all kinds of pins on my jacket, of course, and my backpack. Oh, Pascal. Uh, thank you. Oh, Shane LeVan. Shane yeah. says, I was working and didn't realize what the time was. Same. We didn't either. <laughs> we were like, Same. oh, we have a show. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well. Wow. We're surrounded by, a, by, a, a, by towers of technology. Um, but hey, we went to the post office, you all, and we're excited to talk with you about that. Yeah, but we have a so we have a few things. Um, yes, oh yes, that's right. Viewer mail, which there is an intro for viewer mail coming there is, soon. I yeah, just but for now it. we've got viewer mail tumbling in. So, um, so from the world, is... that, and we have other viewer mail too. We're we're sort of spreading. Yeah, we're this spreading out. The, spreading the love out a little bit. Um, okay, so this is from the Hornburgers. In this beautiful um, in this awesome envelope. In our favorite color. Nice handwriting. <laughs> so it says, uh, Grandpa Glasses. Well, beautiful handwriting. Yes, dear Richard and Flynn, we enjoy watching your show as a family and appreciate the opportunity to interact with the fun, kind community you have created. Please enjoy this sticker set from Lego Star Wars 75212 Kessel Run Millennium Falcon 
We received two with the set. Well, That's that so was cool. Lucky. Bonus round, and and wow, and now we get to share these with you. Yeah, take care, Julia, Peter, and Andrew Hornberger. So, well, and I think actually, why don't we just that we, should be our so we just roll it right into this. <laughs> We've just got, we're just going to go right into it. We're Gablam, flying by the right seat there. of our pants today. So here we go. These here's are great. The, here's the sticker these. set. And you want to read the, the set number again? Off yeah, this is from set 75212, and it's sort of a medium-large sticker set. I think those grills would be great. Any, you know, any one of these would be great on other mocks. They're not, you know, other than the um, the sort of rune characters there. Oh, look, am I broken? It's really cool. Sharpie. Um, would great be great set. on mocks, right? I could see putting those on the rover. Thank you, Hornburgers. Well, thanks, Hornburgers, for and and look at that beautiful printing there too. And we actually have another piece of viewer mail from the Hornburgers, but we're gonna, but specifically from Andrew. But we're actually gonna hold off on that one until a it's little bit later. More appropriate later. It's in the more show, appropriate later in the show. And I know the Hornburgers know what I mean. Uh, when I say but that, look but at look at this. What else? This is so cool. Also, some fun other Star Wars stickers. That's a good one. Here, we'll How go do you like think this. It'll... There, yep, focus. There it goes. Nice. Chewy. Well, and I love. Oh, is that all of you them? You know, I'm actually cool? like a big Daniel Glover fan, so I am super excited about that oh. one. And then this is a great one, too, I think is a lot of fun. So The Kessel Crew here. Oh. We want to do that kind of. Is it going to focus? It is. It's being stubborn. Yeah, I'm a little shaky but today. Wars. But anyway, Star Wars. Hey, have more awesome. coffee. Awesome. Thank you, Hornburgers. <laughs> I appreciate it. I know. I have my laptop now. I've decided it's okay to put stickers on, so all bets are off. Now it's going to be... Dan Simpson is hey, like the stream. Dan. Hey, Dan. Thank you so much. You know, Dan is an amazing friend of the stream from before there was a stream. He uh, and his son actually provided us with a huge Lego haul where we got... The Queen Anne's Revenge that was yep. on our set for the longest time. Great minifigures. Great minifigures that we've been able, that we've used in so many mocks. Like they've really yeah. contributed to like the tricky so many style, great style. Building I think. bricks. Plus yeah. they're just super cool and artists as well. And and Dan Simpson has the coolest basement of anyone I know. Like, I think that's true. If I was a neighborhood kid, I would be spending oh every goodness. possible second at the Simpsons house. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so welcome to the stream. We hmm. have lots of fun. We have show and tell today. Yeah, uh, we do. We've got, uh, we've got so much. What, here, so let's much follow your script, go. Flynn. Sure, so we already did stickers. Oh, we've got some Lego news, friends. We have some Lego news that I am personally very excited this about. This is pretty cool. Um, so, um, from the from the Brothers Brick, where we... Uh, Thanks, Brothers Brick, our for Thanks, our news. Brothers Brick. Um, the Harry Potter, the next Harry Potter collectible minifigure set has come out, and um, oh, thank you, Matthew. I do love my um, my Alice uh, cup. So I'm loving <laughs> these. Are so great. The Weasley twins. Look how happy they are with their little hats. Well, we didn't we just see the Weasley twins create chaos with fireworks. We with did. Dolores we watched. Umbridge? Yes, we watched the other one. The the one with the one with Umbridge. I'm loving. Um, uh, be, uh, Bellatrix Lestrange in, in her, her prison Azkaban. outfit is amazing with her but little her, like look at her hair and that's a great maybe that's a render but the shine on the hair is great too but and is that this is older are, Ron and Hermione those are re, those are released so and is and that they're expected am I to be wrong? in September or is that Luna Lovegood that is Luna Lovegood with her lion hat on awesome all right, so moving along. Oh, Lego so, news. So we had, um, we had <laughs> Fox Brickworm. Yes, we had a um, a a great guy who comes around the chat and stuff. Uh, I believe it's the beginning of next month. Release date beginning Release of next date. month. Release date. Um, uh, named Matthew. He's a great. He's from the UK. And he has like made all these oh yeah amazing um, little sort of um, uh, minifigure habitat, habitat builds. 
right? So we wanted to, um, to he had been sending them some, uh, some of them to us, and they were so great, we wanted to share some we'll of them of showcase that, with right? you today. So I'm going to try, and uh, i got to find you where I'm at here. You made a special thing. Wow, you have I so did. many scenes now. I know. We have so many scenes. <laughs> it's it's kind of crazy. Yay, slideshow. There we go. So this is, well, so first of all, this is, Matthew's oh, it's up. I Fab see it. Max it's up creation. This is um, this is his Fab Max creation. So I am uh, really excited that people are starting to build like this. But I just thought yeah. this, this would be a great uh, a great way to uh, to kick off. So hi, kick two by four bricks. Welcome. Particular episode, right? Yeah. So let's see. Um, th so here's his minor minor forty nine er habitat, and I believe these are all eight by eights. Um, you can do so much detail in an eight by eight. Yeah, this is um, this is super super Gold fun. panning by the stream. Yeah, um, I love this like this biker th that's going that's going like on falling over. Arch. Super fun. Sorry, I had to have a little good sip thing, of coffee there. Good thing they've got their helmet on. Um, we've got this like pizza guy and his like pizza throne and it seems like he's like, <laughs> like a full-on pizza throne love this one this is great with the little especially you know we love that those pieces are some of our favorite color that like, yeah that it's that green that looks like it should glow in the dark but it actually doesn't but that's it works. actually that's actually our official name for that green that green that looks like it should glow in the dark but doesn't <laughs> unquote exactly um, Yay! Fun color palette. Yes, fun color palette here. Love, and I love this one with the pinata art is super fun. So, really good. Nice um, Batman. Like, is that? Oh, that's like the um, like the Highlander Batman. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Ah, fun. Close to my heart. I heart, love right? this one. This wow, is super fun. Lots of spiders. Lots of eyes on that spider. Yeah, really, really fun. I like fun. finished out bases like this. I always like on especially small mocks when the base is like this little museum piece. Oh, this one's so cute. And I love those. Uh, the clouds are some of my favorite pieces. Uh, they're just super fun to use in mocks. Right, the Zaccardis agree. Oh, classic classic very good yeah and that angle makes such a huge difference that angled tile right and yeah well and then you get that great like jam in the background it's super fun oh this one's great how Hooray. fun all is this animals. all the stuffed animals and what i'm <laughs> hoping is a giant either oreo cookie or ice cream sandwich <laughs> Oh yeah, it looks like a, a almost like a Klondike bar. <laughs> this is great, and I love all the different colors of teddy bears. I really want to get those blue, yeah. those blue ones. And really I think great. the contrast with the chameleon is really nice against all the lavender and pink. Oh, we love the, well, we love the Yeti. It's yeah, a favorite Doesn't mini fig of ours. All of these just expand on the idea of the minifigure so well. Yes. This witch is great is with a, she tornado. In a tornado. Yes, yes, this is brilliant. And using the, the so, the, so yeah, like the witch is in the tornado, and I love that um, you used the broom from the Harry Potter collectible minifigures the first round. Oh, are they? Yeah, it's the dark green broom. It's like one, I think, the only or one of only two places you can get that actual piece. Oh. But yeah, the dark green broom. Oh my goodness. Oh, this like is a wonderful. Po potion shop? Oh, yeah, and he's got like the like wizard's shop with all of his he's got his staff and his uh and I love the use of the the trash can as a cauldron is so smart. <laughs> he and translucent magic. Yeah, it's really it's really really fun. Oh, sorry, I went the wrong wrong direction. Oh, Yay. hooray. I remember uh, Minifig Nick did um, a little build with this guy uh, back in the, when it first came out. And uh, uh, there was like a whole <laughs> thing about whether it was allowed to hang off a certain number of studs off the edge. It was so ridiculous. Oh, is this but his Nick's towel? Nick's thing was great. 
Is his towel laid out there? Yeah, on the, on the ground. Yeah, he's got his towel on the ground. Oh, that's great. With, with, <laughs> I love that with studs attaching the towel, so it, it has that, you know, rumply draping. Yes. All right, so hang on a second. I'm trying to get here up to... There we go. Sorry about that. No problem. Um, and Those contrasting bubble bath containers Oh, well, you know nice. this is one of my favorite minifigures. Of course minifigures. we would love this. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> eight by eight gate. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> right? Minifig Nick. Okay, yeah. Oh, this Peapod this girl is adorable. Sweet. Yeah, I really like this one a lot. Ooh, how is that piece... Is it just dropped in a hole? Like how is, is it, that? Or it dropped on a slope, maybe? That's cool. It's really great. I like however that's done. I like that. Yeah, that little angle is nice on the lime green piece. And all these neutral backgrounds help so much too. All the the notebook and you know this color coordinated background here. Oops. I love this. This is super fun. The video game, like the video gamer room. And see, no <laughs> cheating here. Everything's attached by studs everywhere. Yeah, really super fun. And I love all the use of the. And I see the Scooby Doo map there. So, so this has been a, a. I understand a project where um, he's been putting them up on Instagram. Yeah, he's been working on them for a long time. So that's. Um, oh no, that's something else. We'll get back. We'll get to that in a <laughs> oh second. Oh my goodness! We'll get to that in a second. Whoa! I know. I can't. You know. I'm just saying. Uh, so I'm trying. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get to. Uh, so this next bit. So that was all of Matthew's build. So I know. Awesome, Thank Matthew. You got... Thank you so much for. Um, let, uh, for sharing those with us and letting letting us share those with everyone. I so. think those are so fun. I would love to see them sort of all next to one another. You know, like all these habitats lined up. Yeah, he did a he did a great job. So now this next one is from Orange Bricks. Now I am trying to. Yeah, you're doing some behind the scenes fancy thing. Well, you know how it is. is I've got three different emails right now that I am checking for uh, the various you know, things that we have to do. <laughs> so I have to make, so for anything that was, yep. that was meant for like a couple of weeks ago, I have to look in like two different, uh, two different emails and it can be a little we need, tricky. We need that Jeopardy music. If we had Jeopardy music, I would be like, <laughs> wow. I think we're good. <laughs> I could go again. No, <laughs> please. Sorry, everybody. I'm just, you know, I want to. I want to make sure that we get to everything and everybody's uh, uh, things. Well, so we're going to be getting so much effort yes. making things, and right? we're going to get to some of them today, and we're going to do some of them on Wednesday. Um, so I'm trying to. Play, we're playing catch up with this week. We will be caught up with everybody by this by by this week. So this next one is from. I'm trying to see if I can find his story here because. Gosh darn it, I closed the window, even though I, I have like Look, you 35, found it. yeah, I did, Yay. 35 windows open. Here we go. All right, so this is from Orange Bricks. This is my clicky and ice build for the minifigs in the real world challenge. We missed this one then, <laughs> so um, sorry about that. That's awesome. Um, and then um, this is Frozo from The Incredibles. Uh, Frozo from The Incredibles has frozen clicky. Clicky is now very sad. After Clicky was tell. moved in the sun to melt and people have started to dig for him in the ice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Frozo is out, is out. Oh, this is a new one. This is a different one. This is Frozo, not Frozone. This is Frozo. And he says, Frozo is still out there and his next target is Super Sewer Baby, is oh, what he said. No. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Whoa. my goodness. This is so fun. Poor Clicky. I know, frozen Clicky in, in an ice it thing. It makes me think is, of the thing as well. I'd prefer not to I'd think about that in this particular in way. So, oh, Clicky, yeah. you'll be all right You'll again. be okay. Clicky, Clicky You're made of fine. ABS plastic. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and so, like I said, we have a couple more that we are going to share on Wednesday. We have something from Steve Parmley that we'll be sharing on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And we also have... Um, Hi again. Whoa, we're Hit back the wrong again. button. Hi there. Uh, anyway, hi. 
Uh, we will be starting in a few minutes, right now. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to be sharing Steve's um, on, uh, on Wednesday, on Wednesday because it's my birthday, and I wanted to share his thing on my birthday. Yay! So I thought it would be fun. And then also, Ben, I know that um, you said you sent something in, but we searched everywhere and couldn't find anything. So, Ben, Dury, if you need... So, if, send it if, again, if you because had something we that it. we didn't show, please send it, and we'll show it on Wednesday. Yep. All right? So, there we go. All right, so that was great. Thank you so much again, Matthew know, like and Orange Bricks cookie. for your things. So, all right, so moving on to the... Um, what is it? Mini Let's Fig see, Habitats. Mini Fig Habitats were cool. That would be a fun... Well, I mean, we've kind of... Um, we've kind of done yeah. that with our minifigure vignettes. We kind of, like, a little bit kind of... But this one took it off to a whole new level. It was yes. almost like a tarot of the minifigures. Yeah, and I know um, I know that minifig uh, Nick is yep. uh, does sim similar types of deals. My mom is here. Wednesday's my birthday. Yay. Yes, Mom. Wednesday's my birthday. You probably don't How remember. How did that happen? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is too silly. Well, you know, we have also um, other exciting stuff to share with you today. Yes, so we got the, we got this haul of Fabuland. Well, wait, let me do mine first because it's a little my stuff is a little more behind the scenes. All right, Are you sure. Uh, yeah, I think I think it's the way to do it. Um, so we've lured them here with a with the promise of Fabuland, Fabuland, and now yeah. he's going to make you look at Technic. No, this is going to be <laughs> fast. This is what I got. This is what I get. Well, we're both very excited about the Fabuland, but if you remember, I made a little moon rover, and it um, could drive forward, but it couldn't steer. So oh, hang on, I'm going to give you the down camera. Oh. So I got these new steerable lugs, and I'm figuring out, with the help of Pavel Sariel, how to make these so my rover can, you know, steer side to side. I got these really fun... Um, classic space logo two by two tiles. Ooh, very nice. Oh, I'm excited about these. Look at this. We got ones. a bunch of these snake heads. So I think we should do some kind of crazy temple. Yeah, we'll be doing you? something with those. That'll be fun. Um, for we're working on a particular like our secret project involves a lot of wood. Oh, and by the way. These pieces, just in general, if you're looking to build tall and you don't have the bricks to build like the inside, these are fantastic yep. pieces to hold stuff up. Yeah, and Fabuland windows too. You know, yes. those big, um, what I like about these is you can put them inside and still get your hands in to pull out pieces or run cables. Yeah, yeah. So I also got some brown Technic to make um, like wooden movements, mm. uh, mechanical movements, right? Mm. A bunch of these, check out those. We have those in sand green. Oh yeah, we already have those in sand green and white. And hey, yep. jo Joseph Zawada, how's it going? Welcome, we are actually going over a brick link order that we just made. Right now we're looking at some stuff that uh, that we ordered from one seller and then we're going to launch into our Fabuland haul. Yep. Um, so that's what we are doing today. So I got these guys to make a uh, sort of these warm like them. transparent orange rocks. They're right. So I'm gonna cool. make light fixtures out of those Lego light fixtures. Yeah. And then the rest of this is um, I got some dials. Hey the Mowgli is here. Hi the Mowgli you're that on I mute. Think but That'd be cool. I'll, I'll make mechanical arms that go around. And then some printed tiles. Silver frogs are cool. These compass rose pieces are pretty cool, I gotta say. Yeah, we got all four. Like, they wouldn't make a circle. Yeah, they don't make, make like, a clover shape or something. Yeah, kind and these of. These are from Lego. These are gear, technically. Mm -hmm. So I'm not quite sure what that refers to they were not parts of sets but you got some you got some good um little what are these i can't remember when we put them together they're like the crypto mites or something like that <laughs> yeah those dials do go to 11 that's like the best yeah the best i love that i'm gonna turn my machines up to 11 and then um these were <laughs> thanks to uh these particular ones were from um uh, yeah, pebble, pebble and, and park pebble and park is on bricklings Yep, so. they were very nice. Oh, and you got worm gears. Oh, yeah, look, I got a bunch of worm gears. Very nice. Right? So that's all the behind-the-scenes stuff. Other than the snake heads, you won't see much of that. Yeah. But, but, you w but it could help what you're going to see next to work. 
Okay, so... Uh, all right, so Fabuland. Oh, so these I did, too. Um, oh, yes. Um, these, will, these will be coming great for something we're going to talk Just about in a little it. while. Look they at are the gold, gold. Um, yeah, gold, like, exhaust pipe things. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. All right, I need to take my glasses off. You do. You got to go into super Lego mode for this next bit. Here, oh. buckle up. This is going to be a fun, fun little cheerful ride. It is going to be a fun little cheer cheerful ride. So, I did a little bit of research on the uh on fabuland meaning i went to a couple of websites and looked it up and you got the clip funny notes. enough well the funny the funny thing was all of the every single place that i went was just an adjust a slight adjustment of what was on wikipedia that's so <laughs> funny right like a slight that's, everyone adjustment. did the reader's digest condensed version oh joel marbella says um that uh he really needs to learn how to order from bricklink well lucky you you because are because not this Sunday, because we're taking this week off. This Sunday, we will not be here. But the following yep. Sunday, we're going to be doing a show about how to order from BrickLink. Yeah, with some so serious BrickLink purchasers. Hey, welcome, Doc Sampson. Welcome. Good to see you. Um, all right. So let's... so what did you learn about Fabuland? What did I learn about Wikipedia? Fabuland from Wikipedia and, and alternate versions oh, of I Wikipedia? Oh, I just learned some names. So, whoa. So this was this was created in 1979, and they were Lego was looking for a way to bridge the gap between Duplo and Lego. System so bricks. yeah, so they kind of um, they wanted like that to be. I think they were saying kids, like you know that middle age between yep. Duplo and Lego, and so the the pieces were bigger and chunkier and easier to use, but they had the small studs on them. So they could work in system, and they also introduced a number of earth tone colors to make them... Um, I was reading about that when we were late for the show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they, um, there's like a, a um, dark orange that was introduced. The nougat was introduced as ways to make more um, realistic things, even though they were making them in cartoony shapes. Yes, and also everything was in, like all the buildings were in a very limited color palette. It was just your basic <laughs> green, blue, yellow, and red. And like that was... And that's that important. We'll get back it. to that. Yeah, that is important. We, and we will, in fact, get back to that. And it was one, it was the first time that lego ever licensed their um any one of their themes as like more than just brick sets so they mm -hmm. were there were um uh, like silver like kids silverware sets and i'm sure all kinds of i mean there was all kinds of different stuff yep. including a claymation show in the uk and canada i want to see that i want to see that in claymation um and <clears> it gave <throat> and, and it started giving <clears throat> all the characters names like here, like like Edward Elephant, Bonnie Bunny, Max Mouse, Mike Monkey, and, and Paulette, Paulette Poodle. Poodle. Of course, of course, She's her name is Paulette. Um, so, a really, it's got a really interesting history, and it is one of the longest running themes that Lego has had. Ten years, it ran from seventy nine yes. to eighty nine. Yep. So a 10 years of a theme in, in Lego is a lot. Yeah, and sets in, in every year. Well, should we show them a picture of like something um, something Fabuland as a little tease let, for what they'll me see? see? Let me see if I can find... Um, well, this was sent... Um, was this... Um, I, I always am worse with names. Was this... This was Fabby Fan MKE. MKE. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, sent this amazing one right here. All the parts to this car, including this cool front. Of course, Fabby Fan MKE. I'm trying to find some pictures. Oops. Going backwards there, right? And I learned uh, these doors come in a left and right door here. Oh, here we go. But that this color palette you see over and over again in Fabuland with um, blue mixed in as well. So this is from Lego's website, actually. So here is an example of a Fabuland house. Uh, set with the steps and those trees and you can see it's got a very mm -hmm. specific color palette and the characteristic windows too yeah and then there, there were some specialty pieces and then there were pieces that they made that they still use now for minifigs and also like look at those yeah little, because those they're hands and stuff yeah right the the fabuland hands 
fit the same, they're the same size as many big hands. Yeah, so no, it was not a precursor to Duplo. It actually came out after Duplo. They were trying to find a way to like go from Duplo to here. Now you know Duplo, thing. pick up system bricks, and this will help. Yeah, and you could add them and add I them. I love in. that step unit. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, here's another one. Yay, so cheerful always. Yep, 1982. This is 1982, and they were doing some printing. Um, and then here Yay. is like the cast of characters. Um, yes, so it's oh, daydreaming Edward Elephant, friendly Bonnie Bunny, adventure loving Max Mouse, and flower shopkeeper Hannah Hippopotamus. Oh yes, clumsy Clive Crocodile. Those He's clumsy, clumsy Crocs. And Lucy Lamb the nurse, and more. Can you believe that? This is amazing. I'm so, and it's so again like. That's so Animal Crossing that they all have, like... Because all the Animal Crossing characters have different personalities. Like, some yeah. are lazy, and some are athletic, and some are whatever. So, yeah. Well, I, I'm really drawn to the walrus, but that may be because the walrus was in that collection at the house that we saw first, Yes, yeah, so, right? well, and he's also... I mean, he's wearing a captain's hat, and then... Right? Come on, right? This is amazing. So, <coughs> all of those figures. Well, so, we that's show... the whole... That's the... That's the the story of Fabuland in a nutshell. All right. And so we were busy on Bricklink. We were busy on Bricklink. I happened to find one seller that was selling a bunch of stuff. So I, mm -hmm. I lucked out. But I will say it's much easier to get from Europe than it is to get, and cheaper to get from Europe yeah. than it is to get to the it seemed US. seemed like almost everyone was in Europe. Yeah. And I didn't wait long. It didn't, it no, didn't take it a long like time, a like a week or, or something. Faster than bricks and pieces. Ahoy, hoy, Johnny Cat. We were just talking about the history. Of Fabuland, which I'm sorry that you missed. You'll definitely need to go back and check it out. Or you can just go to Wikipedia. Fabu that's Fan apparently where all the information is. Fabufen MKE, if you're watching right now. Um, we will gladly take any corrections on information because yes. you are an expert on Fabuland. We are we are we are newbies, if you will. <laughs> if and of course uses being the way we are, we dove right in. So I'm trying to think I, let's start with the bigger pieces first. So, okay, uh, let's go ahead and go to the down camera. The down camera. Now, I already love Duplo, and I have a lot of Duplo um, door units. These guys are a little smaller, but have that same colorful toy quality. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yes, I, I, I got a little cabinet door. So we got a cabinet. This is actually, yeah, it doesn't really go with the wall pieces. But, yeah, we got a little cabinet. And but they, look, come, they, they come in multiple sizes. Yeah, they have, like, little shelf bits on the inside. They come in various sizes. Some of them come with printing on. Like these guys. I love this. Like the num number 36. Here, show that one. Um, yeah, this one's super cute with the flowers. So then it would Taxi come with door. this size door that you could get a bunch of different ones of. It also comes with this size door, which if you were watching the show yesterday, you'll recognize. Ahoy, hoy, Fabby Fan MKE. Um, so it comes with these doors in both red and yellow. Um, but the frames for those were a little harder to find. So we didn't get a lot. I got a lot of doors. But not yeah, a lot we're gonna, of frames. We're going to catch up on the frames. Yeah. And this is what I meant, too. Fabuland windows, like those other um, railroad truss pieces, are great ways to get height inside your model. I mean, I Check don't, don't want to waste these guys inside. But these More ones. awesome. Like, I don't know. It kind of looks like a very is happy jail. Is that a jail. sticker? That looks like a it's sticker. It's a sticker. And then also there's this lock, kind of, on this one. So yeah, so we got some. Yeah, I think then, we got some really fun pieces. Of course, it's all system. So it all yeah. So you can build in regular bricks along with it. Oh, all right. They, that's funny. They put one stud on the outside here where they get their Lego logo. Yeah, I mean, fortunately, like I said, these these all came from the same seller, so I was able to just kind of go through his store and just pick a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, there might not be a lot left for that one seller. Right. At the moment. Some. <laughs> so yeah, so that is um, so those are all of our wall and and window pieces that we got. So that's pretty exciting. Um, I really um, this is going to be a lot of fun. And I want more of these cabinets too. I know those cabinets are pretty awesome. It feels like Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. It has such a little trolley 
you know, yeah. land of make-believe quality about it. Okay, so, yeah, so that's our big wall pieces and the little cabinet. You want to take that over to that side? Um, then we got... So now, here's a... So Fabuland has a very particular kind of roof piece that makes it unique, I think. Um... Oh, I didn't realize it had that hole in it. Yeah. To put stuff in. So it comes with these uh, with these roof slabs, which you then attach onto, th yeah, these bricks that have like wedge bricks that have holes in and them. And it's a really tight connection. It is right? a very Once tight connection. Once it comes on, it's a challenge. Like I don't want to break it getting it off. Right. So there's ones with holes and ones without holes, but um, yeah, they come in the the roof top colors come in red and green but the wedges come in blue uh red and yellow yeah and this was made for little kids to be able to you know pull apart but i think some of these pieces are old enough that they might have shrunk over time yeah so oh for so tv antennas stacked. stubot you're right exactly perfect oh really zonker nice. had one of those tv antennas yeah um in in his um firehouse was it mm-hmm yep the chimney hole. Oh, and it's probably for chimneys too. Yep. We did not get a chimney. I'm going to continue searching. Yep. Believe me, if if they're not now completely sold out because we're making a run on Fabuland. But anyway, really great, fun, original, interesting little roof pieces with a great, great texture. And they make a nice, you know, they they do make a nice roof. Although they're often, I noticed, used as you know, like in one direction. So yeah, Fabuland Roofs. <laughs> okay, let's see. And no pesky corner pieces or inside corners to look at. It's all just like it's you, all pretty you much drew it a is little part in the house. All right. So we got a bunch of pieces for cars. Because we were so inspired. Yeah. And we made a discovery about the cars that they're designed to link up yes, like a so, train. So these particular ones have, um, and we didn't notice this before when we got this great one from Fabby Fan MKE for whatever reason, I wasn't thinking in terms because we only had the one. Well, now we have more and we got multiple sizes as well. There's like a yeah, smaller and a larger all the version. Ones. And I think this one's even longer than those. It is. Oh, it is. So, so we have all three sizes of car. There's these awesome like car hood pieces. That I know, they're also so got. cool. Um, and then there's a variety of these different ones. So now for a while, there was these molded ones. Well, you can see but there's, then there's this, a printed this one. printed one here. So they made them that in different styles. That feels older to me. Well, it, also, it feels more playful really yeah you know? and it's a printed one it's not that's not a sticker and then it used these pieces a lot for windshields these yeah, guys so the curves are all really fun yeah and then and we did get a couple of different fronts and then these are swept back like windshields as well yeah both of these both of the square and the and the rounded have this right Yep, Fabuland train. We are we're thinking we, we're about definitely it. Definitely got that as a thing well, happening in our in our next bit. And we also have these. I'm pretty sure that a powered up hub would fit on this, so you could carry the power All in, right, in the Fabuland. All right, slow down train. there, Haas. Right, and then cover it over with slow this. Slow down there. Let's oh, not give yeah. away all the ideas. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm uh, kidding. Secret, <laughs> secret, proprietary um, tricky bricks information. So there we go. Oh look at that. It's a very cute oh, little, yay. little stickered piece, right? So anyway, yeah, so we got doors. And be aware that when you are buying them that they do, the doors do have a left and a right side. Yep. So um, unfortunately, this our seller only had um, the but right look, side doors. But, but this one but has the ones from Fabu Fan a left side and a right, right side. Ones. But just, you know, when you're searching, be aware. That's a thing. Right. So yeah, so I'm excited to build up some cars. I think that's gonna be. I think it's gonna be really, really fun. Well, because you want all all these little critters need stuff to do, right? They all little... have to have jobs, just like Richard Scary. Yep, they all have jobs. <laughs> but where's the gold bug? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta find the gold bug. Okay, so that is the. Those are the car pieces, and we'll just here. I'll put those away. And, you know, these are. 
You know, actually, the fair amount of them are in pretty good shape, I gotta say. Yeah, and they have this quality, like, um, they have a wooden toy quality, I think. Yes, they do. They do. Hey, James is here. How's it going? Welcome. We are looking at Fabuland stuff today, and it is fabulous. So let's see, what else have we got here? Okay, so here we have a slide, which is awesome. We have this slide in pink as well, yeah, which is crazy. Let's see. Set it up. Oh, please. Oh, yeah, you... I'll have to move this hand. There we go. All right. Go. See that? We'll move his hands. We'll go. That was so exciting. Let's go again. Well, okay. From above where you can't see. There you go. Woohoo! He stays sitting. Okay, so while we are sort of at a, at a pause point... What was a, that a transition? At a pause break, we have uh, something else to share with you. We well, let's let's go ahead and bring himself out. Oh, for all we? this, okay. That's yeah, right. I, well, he needs to be here. Yes. You'll have to hold him. But all right, everybody, it is absolutely that special time of the day that everybody's so excited about. Here we go. It's Logan Hi, Cookie pal. Time. Hi. Hi. Hi so, pal. okay, it's almost let's, Cookie Time. Let's give him one, and okay. then we'll because we have a little we have a little um thing that we have to do while Logan's here. So maybe you could hold. Oh, on look to at him. these are crunchy. Maybe you could hold. He on likes to him us. While I will. I sorry, I was paying That's attention right. to crunching. I know. Good boy. Right, so oh, okay, here's from you can Andrew have one more. Hornberger. Logan has some fan mail. So. Um, Andrew sent some Natural Balance Original Biscuits, which are Yay, Logan's favorite. You. He loves those. Um, and a, a trend started by our friend Dave, who brought um, who okay, brought him this. Uh, his first round of those, and they're his favorite for Logan <laughs> Cookie Time and Here, beyond. You, will you break but, this one? Um, do what? Break, break that one yes. in half. Yes, he's going to lose his mind over these cookies. There you go. Okay, there we go. Um, and so this is from Andrew... And it says, "Look um, at this! Look at the printing this is an too. Awesome, it's awesome! It's an awesome, awesome letter." It says, "Dear Logan, I wanted to share some cookies with you for your cookie time because it's my favorite part of the show. Um, I hope that you enjoy. Keep up the great work, your friend Andrew." Look at Andrew's printing too. Thank you. He does. He has very good, very good printing. I love that paper. Nice. Thank you so much, Andrew. And Logan, thank Logan you, says, too. Here, you're going to get an extra one. You're going to have a half oh, another one. All right. Okay. One can more you catch, time. Look at the camera and say thank you. Look at him wagging his tail. Thank you, Andrew. He caught it. All right. Good boy, Logan. Wow, that was good. Logan Cookie well, Time with fan mail. That was wonderful. The fan. Thank now. you so much. That it was so thoughtful. And Logan, thanks you. Wow, it's got bison. I know. It's very fancy. He loves those. They're, they're a super favorite. So awesome. Thank you so much, Andrew. That is so sweet. Here, we're and gonna put this. We're yes. gonna put this in the gallery. Yes, but you should. Yeah, it's a good one. My tiny keyboard is getting dusty. It's working today. No, Logan, there's no more cookies. Yeah, really, thank you, um, Hornburgers. What a wonderful little package to receive. We were very excited, and, it and made he us was very extremely happy. excited. Mm. All right, so how are we um, back to Fabuland? Yes, we're back to Fabuland. All right, back to Fabuland. Here we go. And no worries about joining late, uh, James. You know nope, we are very casual Not at all, here. yes. It's our thing. You can always catch up, or there's. it's not like there's homework. Uh, okay, so we... Oh, yes. So we were going to go over the props. Oh, yeah. Or, like, the little bits. The little and weird bits. So we learned something recently. We might have even learned it on the show here. That the reason why Fabulan... Or why so many minifigure props are oversized is because of Fabulan, right? Yes. They were made for Fabulan or Belleville or others, and then they used them. All right, so Look here at that we go. Wheel. Here we go. I want to put that outside my little farmhouse. This is pretty amazing. You could do very cool. Sutter's Mill. Oh, Andrew, I'm <laughs> glad you're excited. <laughs> um, so here we go. 
so some of these we haven't taken out of it. Let's go sort of like over them because they're amazing. So here's a table. Let's go into close-up mode. And we can go to close-up mode. You know, there's like please involved in all of that. Please let's go to close-up mode. So we've got some little table. We've got some brown tables and chairs, which is awesome. And from, uh, actually, I have all the, I have some of the stuff we got from Fabby Fan MKE right here to kind of go along with. Um, he, we what also have a dark our, brown chair. What happened to our panda? Yeah, I went and a red the, chair. Will you hand me the panda? Yes. I just want to, he's going to get first dibs on sitting Well, at he the has table. been around longest. A friend yep. from Dave who has now started the whole Fabuland thing. A second trend you started, Dave. There you go. Um, all right. We have, we're going to have, yeah, this amazing um, street lamp that I am in love with. This is well, incredible. It looks like the ones outside of Alice in Wonderland um, at Disneyland. Yes, you know, they kind of remind sort of, me of that. tulip ones, and yep. also makes me think of Paris. Um, we got a bed. This is a little Yay. Fabuland bed for someone's house. Look, Somebody you fit will in there. It's just... Great. You can have a little nap time. Um, got a um, a watering can, which is di a little different from the other watering can. Right. That's cool. Very, really very cool. Animal Crossing. I am in love with these. We did get another one of these little pots. And I'm going to show the stuff that FabiFan MKE gave us, too, because it's there's so many good things in here. And if, if a lot of you may not have seen that, another oh, look, pot. We have Red, red chairs. chairs to go around our table. Right, red chairs. This awesome basket, and there's that that nougat color. Oh, now does this the basket broom, actually fit on the figure? Look at yes. that. Yes, the broom, a ladle to go with our little cooking thing, and uh, and of course the coveted um, bum, bum, bum. carpet beater. And you notice. So it is. So the color palette here is red, yellow, and blue. But they've got these. Oh, maybe um, this is an oil can. You're right, Wilfred. It's an oil oh, can. Oh, is it? Yep. Because the I was gonna say it looked different from the the watering can that I have back here. It's that big green thing. But you notice sneaking into the color palette here is. Yep, is a nougat. Dark. But, is that dark orange? Mm, yeah, I don't know if that we call that dark orange or nougat, but it is this this and also brown. But yep. again, and dark only brown. in the furniture. Yep, dark brown, and then. In this amazing piece you're about to see, we've got a little teeny bit of gray. And yes, Joel, the this broom is the same broom that is now used as the standard minifigure broom. That's been used, yeah, yeah it's been used for a long time. And so there was gray in this as well. This the is maybe version. my favorite thing that we got. It's pretty cute. It is a oldie timey lawn mower with the little blade that spins around. It's got the blade right on it. Right. <laughs> Cut your perfect Fabuland lawn with that. Yeah, so I love that. You can even have like a little mouse right on. We got these great fences. Those are great. I want to make like little little seven dwarfs beds. Yes, <laughs> they would make guys. like these. I want more of these though, like more more red fences. Yeah, of course. Fences. Uh, I've got this fun printed umbrella which is a little different i think than the it, it is a little different than the current umbrella mold it's it's uh, a little more cartoony but i love these oh, little and like you know daisy what? little daisy things so you could put the umbrella up over your table yes, and then well, sit out on your fabuland patio so there is actually like a um the fa there is a fabuland like umbrella pole and it is one of the more expensive things that you can find because oh. i'm sure they all got broken and yeah. whatever but right. you could use those um those long rods that have the uh thing in it right yes the, the long rods that have the little built-in bushing kind of so this is what this, we're most excited about this is kind of, yeah now some of these have loose legs, but I am and we're open to suggestions okay with that. And if about you, yeah, the loose legs. If anybody knows what to do about the the loose legs, Look at you that. Can this let one's us know. got kind of a bobblehead. But they were so cool that I just there was no way. And again, they all came from the same seller. So it was I'm gonna try I'm trying to put all the little first guys Fabula together. Rob Ketcherside says my first Fabuland purchase was after a stressful day at work, ordered a bunch of uh, off eBay from Lithuania, I got one of those umbrellas without printing. 
That I bet that cheered you up on that hard work day. <laughs> it would cheer me yeah, up. Yes, so we can move some of these up. Here we go. And then we got a cat and a horse. Now I haven't. You know, a lot of these animals went through different iterations of names, so I yeah. haven't gone through and figured out like what every single one is yet. But these are our, this is our current Look lineup. Look at that. We have a little Fabuland town. The original. Um, and you can always tell there, there's, or not always tell, um, it's a thing whether the nose, you know, is is rubby or not. And it doesn't yeah. bother me either way. I would pay less for a figure. I don't care if it has some wear on it. Yeah, and there's a lot of, uh, th there's oh, always this the same there's character? There's a lot of variation. No. It's a, well, I mean, it's the no, same it, mold. It's the it's same just mold with different different printing. Pan, yeah. Panda and raccoon. So there's a um, yeah, and there's more. There's, you I mean, can there's, join your friends. There's way more than than what's here. Here we'll have to put this one on the side. Maybe yeah. way more available. Yeah, right? there's way more I characters want the than what's here. I want there's the um, the walrus in the like the sea captain's cap is the one that I want. It's definitely. But aren't these cute? We can make a cute little town. Yeah, they're really. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. It inspired us to. Um, it gave us ideas too. A lot of it? ideas, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, <laughs> and this is. Oh, and these are like funny little like saddlebags, like for horses. And I don't know what kind of horse they used. Oh, would it fit on a normal? It wouldn't fit on a normal Lego horse, would it? Um, I don't. Yes, I think it would actually. What you put like a two by two in there? Right. So, all right. Now, yeah, we. I definitely want the scooter. I definitely want the scooter. All right, so we got that now. This, though, I have to say, is kind of the thing. Yes. Um, it would fit, right? It does fit. It does fit on an actual. And then you can put the saddle Lego on top of it. No, you would just yeah. Look. You would put a brick underneath of it. That doesn't oh, really no. work. Oh no! Right. Um, you would just put a brick underneath of it, so it actually well, would cute. fit onto um right. Very cool. But now you're gonna show something else cool. Yeah, we did get the old Fabuland ones, Wolfred. I I don't I don't love the ones um with the white part of the eye. I don't know. They look a little, they look weird in 70s to me. What's that? The the characters that have these kind of eyes rather than the kinds we got, the black with the two white dots. Oh, yeah. Here, I'm going to okay. organize a little bit here. Can I have that other bag? What's that? Um, just hand me this empty bag up here. Oh, sorry. There we go. Oh. Yeah, this one, this guy, one particular guy, he sent everything in its own individual bag, so we have a lot of, a lot of that. But... This now I wasn't able to reconstruct it entirely like it was originally. We got close. We got close because we just didn't have some of the parts. But this is We a, were so excited when we realized we saw his list. Yes. So this is a Ferris wheel. And I thought it would be fun to just kind of put it together since we're here. Um this is actually an axle. All right, this is actually an axle. It's two pieces, and I don't want to pull it it's apart. Because pretty... the only thing holding it together is this little, like, one little nub of plastic. We don't want to um, break that And off. I don't want to, I don't, yeah, I don't want to get it to break it off. But you definitely need two, this is two yeah. pieces. But this is what caught my attention. Yes. Yes. Look at that totally system piece. So these fit right into this. And then, uh, gosh... There is like Logan hair supreme. It's well, like he had the super excited. He did have viewer the super mail. excited viewer mail. Um, and then it came. It comes with these, and I didn't know how many it took. I accidentally ordered five, so we have an extra. But whatever. It's got these. This little. Um, yeah, these little guys. No, you have to. Yeah, and you have to. Oh, put you these put on. this in first. So these have like little Technic pin areas where you can pin these. Um, I don't know if it's exactly the size of a Technic pin, but. You can fit the these little guys on here. Yeah, you gotta keep this out there. Yeah. Now this next part, I will say that getting this on is is a little tricky because you, you gotta line up all of the all of the seats, and it's a little bit. Um, 
we may need help from our grown-ups. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult. Um, there's a, definitely a fine line between it being too loose and too tight. Yeah, because you want them, like, this is very tight right now. We found we had to fuss with it a little bit. Yeah, right? there's a little bit of fussing involved. But, you know, ultimately, oh, I see this came worth out. it. Wait, this came out. Oh. Yeah, the, there we go. So now you have the little, and this, see, like, this one is a little bit, Here, let's that's because it wasn't in, in all the way. That's why. There's something amiss. You're right. Let's put this one in in case that one has weird pins. Yeah. Let's... We have a spare. Thankfully. We'll go ahead and, there we go. Yeah, it looks a little bent, this one. I think that's what the problem Lucky is. Lucky us, we have a spare. Yes, we good have thinking. a spare. <laughs> okay, let's do it on camera. Yeah, good thinking by accident. I was just like, <laughs> give me all of the seats. I will have all your fabuland. They belong to me. Yes. All right, so there we no, go. Now we thing. have a nice, hopefully, free-flowing little thing there. All right. And then you make towers, don't you? Um, yeah, so then there's these cool pieces. These are really, really cool. I love this piece. And then you just put regular system bricks underneath. Now, I looked up the a photo of what this looked like, so we kind of have an idea. Now, this is supposed to be... We didn't have a big plate. Yeah, this is supposed to be a single plate, but we didn't have that, so... Um, Did it go three from the end? Yes, it's three from the end. And then... Oh, no, not this one yet. It goes, it gets these, right? Oh, those are, I'm sorry, these are up higher, of course. The yellow ones. Like this. Yeah, we had to kind of fuss it. Like, we didn't have the big plate that they had. Um, and then this goes on top, I believe. And then does this go to the end? I think so. We should bring that picture up. Oh, right, I guess we could uh, we have do a instructions. Uh, ahoy, hoy, moto! Yay, Moto, we're putting together the Fabuland Ferris wheel right now. So now it And they actually fits pop in. in. They click down. Yep. yep. So check it out. We've got... Now, I don't know if this actually goes here, but I used it because it's got a balloon on it, and it's a Ferris wheel. <laughs> I used it because it's got a balloon on it. And it's a Ferris wheel. All right, so then it gets this roof piece on this end, right? And then, now on the lower floor, it actually has, um, and I, again, I'm just making it look, um, it's supposed to be a yellow door, but we have a red door frame, right? Yeah, I think I've put this together wrong, but whatever. I think the red well, ones go up top, but you know what? We're building it like we feel like building oh, it, because it's what our you're, fabulous here, let's land. Do this. No, we'll make it right, look. Okay. It's going to be the perfect land. It'll be, <laughs> we'll, we'll make it our way next. Let's see. Oops. Yay. We'll make it our way next. We kind of did. There's a little sort of ticket booth thing that goes down at the bottom. Thank you. There we go. Uh-huh. There we go. There. I messed us up by starting with yellow. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look at that. Oh, wait. That's a little wide. Is it? No, this is supposed to be one more that way, is it? Mm, maybe. Yeah. And then, and then this fits in here. Yep, and then that goes over there. This is what happens when you build without instructions. Oh, no, you know what? No, you know what? Yeah, see, I'm going. I'm doing this from memory. But what happens is this actually goes over one stud. All, okay. And then that, that goes is, over fact, one stud. Did we make it yep, work? Like this. We made it work. Boom. And then it gets these little flags. Right there on live television. On the, on the, en on the ends of it here. Right, so now, there we go. Now this is what it's supposed to look like. That's yeah. getting festive. Right. And then we build our uh, first floor. So on theirs, there is like a, a full-on... Here, this goes here, doesn't it? Yeah. There's, a, there's like a full-on little weird like ticket booth thing that we didn't get one of. Oh, yeah, it has an awning over the top of yeah, it. Yeah, it kind of we'll looks like a treasure chest. So we sort of built our own... Um, version, but this is essentially what, um, and here we'll go to the front camera. 
so we can kind of show you. Here Yay. is... And then the figures all fit in the Ferris wheel and get to take rides. Right. This one is a little tight. There it is. Sometimes they go upside down. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's a they do they do stick and they're old. So and then but you know when you when you put the characters in them, oh, they're sort they of more weight, right? To, yeah, they have a little bit of weight to them. I will say though that um, the loose legs uh, definitely are an issue when you're in when they're sitting in here because if they if they're too loose, they bend Whoa. backwards and then their whole little and then they want to fall out. Yeah, and, then they and we can fall build out. this with the slide attached to it. Yeah. Well, so, how fun is that? How Fabuland. fun! Fabuland Hall from uh, from Bricklink. Very excited. See, even if you can't go into your so local fun. Lego store now, if you can, like, definitely support your local Lego Lego store. Yes. You know, a bunch of them are doing curbside pickup and figured out a bunch of other things. But you know, Fabuland can only be found by more arcane methods. Right. Which leads us to an announcement. We have an announcement, everyone. So we kind of were, we've been toying it's around fun. with this idea a for, a, for a little while. And I think we're going to, I think we're ready to try and implement it. Don't okay, you? can I, I'm going to refill our coffee. Oh, before? Yep. Okay. All right. You got to get ready for this little, little dinky commitment. Yeah, you'll see. You'll see. Yeah, we did. We got, I was surprised this guy had a lot of stuff and we had already had such a nice little beginner pack from Fabby Fan MKE and then our, our figure from Dave that it just kind of made sense to get. And honestly, I don't think I realized how much, because they weren't that expensive. So it was like, oh, you have 10 of them? Ten, they will take 10. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, like, yeah, if you actually, if you compare it with buying minifigs, that they, they were the same price. I or actually less. I paid less for my Fabuland figures than I would pay for a, a blind bag, CMF. So, there you go. Okay, let's not drink all this coffee. I am going to drink all of it in no, one we'll big be gulp. Up until until <laughs> until later next day. week. Until next week. Okay. Okay. So here, keeping this in mind. Keeping what's, this in mind. What's going on, Flynn? Here's something that we've been talking about for a while is this idea of Fab Max, which came up on one of our Sunday chats, which is based on um, Mark Crookshank from Lego Masters. Him and his, uh, he and his friend Perry do this thing at Bricks Cascade called um, Dupocalypse, and it is basically um, apocaly uh, apocalyptic vehicles done with Duplo parts. Yeah, so they right. build they build system on top of it and trick it all out. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Moto coined the term Fab Max, and and Blair Archer was implicated in this as well. Well, it was so yes, it ended up being between Moto and Blair, the two of them together, kind of like came up with the with Fab Max. But then just yesterday, yep, as late as yesterday, Shane Levan came up with. Fab Max Furry Road, which just about I I right. was so left now, on the floor. Now we're gonna have to rewatch. Um, um, we're gonna have to rewatch Mad Max Fury Road. Yes, because so, because we are announcing a month long build. It is not a contest. It's not even technically a challenge, but it is a group build. We're gonna make a group piece of art. Yeah, it's, we do it want, if you want. Yeah, do it if you want. Um, and if you um. You know, hopefully this is giving you enough time that you can still participate in the weekly builds if you want to. Yep. Um, but month-long project, it is going to be Fab Max Furry Road is the theme. We're and making, just, li just like you would at conventions or at lug meetings, we're making a collaborative build. Yes, and we will definitely, um, we will definitely be uh, narrowing things down and, 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 and uh, sort of like making the rules a little bit more solid but i think rules you know rules just to make everyone know what to expect with it and so that yes. all the pieces go together they won't physically click together because we're not in the same physical space but they should all go together thematically and this will all be for a wait where did, when did we decide uh was it uh was it september 17th was it Thursday? oh yes so they will all be due on September seventeenth. That's month. exactly four and a half weeks from today. Uh, from today. Yeah, today is August seventeenth. 
September 17th. And we will do the Fab Max slideshow. We probably won't have a regular build challenge that week. Yeah, that, and we're, that is a week that we will take off from a build challenge. We're absolutely taking part in this. And don't worry if you don't have Fab so, Fabuland, you don't have to have Fabuland. If you don't have Fabuland, there was um, talk from uh, Moto that there is a site where they can they give you a thing called it's called Neo Fabuland, and it's basically using basic system bricks to recreate the look of Fabuland. So we will provide links for that so that people can go check it out. But we don't want to put like rules on a lot of rules on, but I'm going to say no, this. No, we don't honestly, we don't really like rules. We just like things to be clear. But but we would love it if everybody could work within the designated Fabuland color palette. And that is the most basic. The buildings are blue, yellow, red, and green. Yeah, and these black flagpoles aren't part of it, right? Yes, it is. Oh, is it? Yes. So, so the tiniest, the, so tiniest the details way. are in, it seems, seem to be in different colors. And we can do a little bit of research yeah. and really like pan again. I don't want to oh, see yeah. rules. See, there's but, black in this car. But because it's Furry Road, it must include a vehicle. Of some kind, yep. It could be tiny. It could be whatever you want. But as part of your, it could only be as available part of your, if you want. Yeah. It, but it, it could. Yeah. It could just only be a vehicle. But the mock must include a vehicle in some way. Yep. All right. And so I know there there can be a million subtleties because there's a zillion bricks. Mm -hmm. But the idea, the challenge, is to build something that looks like it belongs in Fabuland right. with this Mad Max theme. Yes. Um, and Furry Road too, so it's not. This isn't. I would stay away from like major violence. Oh, right? Stu Stubot says worth noting. You can also build virtually, and um, there are three D Fabuland models you can import into Studio. Ooh, oh, that's awesome! Cool, that's totally acceptable. Very cool. So I and will a whole um, web page of stuff from <coughs> Minifig Chick. Yes, and I will actually post a um, uh, a post on the website about it, explaining all of the the rules and stuff and you don't and don't feel obligated to run out and buy a fabuland character but if you do feel so inclined they are not entirely in uh, they're not entirely expensive they're very they're pretty cheap to get one if yeah. you wanted to get one to include Brick, Mo um, moto can probably go into any thrift store anywhere in the US and find 26 of them but for us normal mortals we go yes. to bricklink to well and remember right? this is this is a challenge so you know, let, try and stay with, again, stay within that color palette. I think that's what's going to be really cool about making it all look like it's all part of one world, is if the main yeah. buildings are the yellow, red, blue, and green, but then the details, yeah. you can have the black and the, the nougat and the brown. I mean, yep. just, yeah. There you go. Doesn't that sound like fun? Doesn't that sound like super cheerful? And, there, and then the idea, the vehicles can be crazy. Crazy vehicle. They should. Right? I mean, Whatever everything you should can be out outrageous. But um, so anyway, that's yeah. a thing now. Fab Max collaborative build. We will post it on um, a big slideshow of it on the website. We yeah. will also, um, it, it, with everybody's permission, we can submit it as a tricky tricky lug submission to any upcoming brick shows. That yeah, are we'd up. like. Yes, um, if you would give, if you want to give permission for that, definitely we'll have a box for you to check on the forum or something like that. Yeah. Um, because wouldn't it be fun if Tricky Lug had a collaborative piece to share? Yeah. You know, wouldn't that be great? We think so. Yes, it would be great. <laughs> okay, that is some strong <laughs> coffee there, Flynn. Strong it is. coffee. So we definitely are already conspiring. Um, to what we're gonna build. Yeah, this. we kind of have some ideas. So yeah, so there you go. There's the that's the idea. A, a collaborative tricky look build of Fab Max Furry Road. Um, speaking of challenges, our current challenge is a pirate themed challenge. We we kept it yep. very open this time. And that's the week long um, challenge due next Thursday. Yes, right? and you can see now. And I'm not trying to make two things things too confusing. I'm actually trying to make it easier for you. Anytime. You want the link to submit your stuff, please go to trickybricks.com. Um, I'm trying to focus all of my energy there. And the I like the YouTube community page, but it's very limited on what you can do. And mm -hmm. I, I don't want to keep sending people to a bunch of different places. So anytime, we'll anytime there's a challenge, 
uh, there will be an article up about it that will explain all the rules and we'll have the link to the form to fill out your upload link and we'll also have the email that you can send to so all yep. the information should be there on trickybricks.com for you yeah and that's also that's where we'll have resources for the fab max build as yep. well we'll have links up there yeah so you'll be able to to find all that doesn't that sound like fun? Look, we're building together with bricks. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Anyone down for a Tricky Lug Mad Max screening? <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, well, we're going to be watching um, Fury Road for sure. Yes. Well, and I want to. I want to go back and watch the old ones too. Yeah, the original, like no budget, awesome, total seat of your pants production. All right, Wilfred. Settle. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, furry road. Yeah. So, looking, <laughs> looking, uh, looking forward to seeing what everybody's going to start to come up with and and think about. I feel like it's something that a lot of people will be able to handle with just basic bricks. Yeah, because don't you? Everyone has a two by four red brick hanging around, right? Here, right. Let me put that with the other accessories. But yes, please do. And these saddlebags. Right, I don't want to get those mixed up. But see, um, in the accessories, this um, that color is totally part of the yep. color palette. So, oh yes, and about the pirate challenge, it's just the pirate challenge is um, the theme is pirates. I um, encourage you to push beyond your uh, like what you would normally think of as pirates and. And kind of go crazy a little bit if you want. Yep. So like maybe it's I think I put on the website it's like maybe it's ice pirates or you know whatever. Yep. That's and, up to you. And descriptions are awesome. They're definitely helpful. But on this challenge, we encourage you to tell your story in the bricks. We want to be able to look at them, look at those figures or the ship or island or whatever you're doing, mm -hmm. and see if we can tell the story right in the bricks. Yeah. So I am uh, I'm really looking forward to this one because I know a lot of people are excited about pirates. I know are and don't, also don't feel like you can't go traditional. Yeah. Absolutely do that, but I also encourage you to maybe think beyond that. Yeah. Um. And descriptions. I know descriptions really help, so we're not discouraging descriptions. Exactly. Of your exactly. Piece at all. Um, but you will see all the rules uh, for uh, submitting your photographs on the website, too. I have made a point of yep. trying to put in there the things that we've been asking of people, like the, um, uh, you know, naming your photos correctly and that sort of thing. It's super helpful because we're also, we have, um, we have help with that now, right? The what now? We have help with the, um, with the photo submissions getting, yes. getting ready for the show. So consistency yes. is very helpful there. So, so you have you, you um, but for the Fab Max thing, you have a month and like a few days. Yes, yeah, so you can think about it. You can so, build something. You can change your mind. There's right. time to move things around. And I know that a lot of people get really excited and like do it right away. But I, I encourage you with this one to really um, go beyond what you feel comfortable with, even. Right, yeah, like really push, push yourself. yourself. Like you have a month and four days. Like how much detail can you include in that in in that amount of time? Well, and what different ways can you? How can you express yourself within this? You know, within this world, what different ways can you think of to use all of these design? You know, ideas. Oh, look! And Rob Zaccardi says, "Kids, we're excited. We did it already." <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. Um, Yay. Alana and Vanessa. But well, we, we, we can't wait. I think this is, um, we've been really amazed at, at um, seeing people's growth in their own building styles. Um, it seems to us through all of these many build challenges that we've had, people are really like getting their chops up and know how to yeah. express themselves in bricks. And I think for this challenge with a month, we can really take that to another level. And people, you know, if you're open to sharing it with other people outside of Tricky Lug, I think people will be amazed at what we come up with. Yeah, I think I would love to be able to, you know, display this at a, at a virtual con and, you know, on our website and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah. but, and so... But don't, don't get intimidated. Like, you yeah. have a safe place to share your ideas here. And, and we can't wait to see them. And somebody was just asking about um, uh, 
uh, any size limitations. There are no size limitations for either the Pirate one or the Fa the, the Fab Max Furry Road. I, both of those are like open. Um, and I will say though, and I because I have a feeling this is going to be kind of a big a big one, especially since we have so much time. I have to limit it to three photos only. Yeah, so now, can one of those, if you have movement, I think one of those could be a very short video. Yes, yeah, so if right? you end up having movement in it for some reason, and I encourage you to do that if you think you can do it, um, just because it's mechanical and movement doesn't preclude it from being you know, part of this, right? It's all about the look. It's yeah. the it's the shell on the outside, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so three pictures. Um, one of those could be a video if you have movement, but yeah. we'll put all those rules. There's a whole month. So rather than being bogged down in rules, let your imagination just run free. Like what could happen in Fabuland? Yeah, I'm so I'm I'm really excited about this and we will put up sort of a little on the website. We'll put up sort of a little style guide, if you will. Yeah, some kind of just pictures and a color palette. Yeah, just showing some pictures of the original sets and the color palettes and what's, um, you know, what you should try to make it look like. Yep. Um, because I think, I just can't wait to see them all the pictures together in one. Yep. And <laughs> we, what, whether you are in the chat regularly Bye, or Bye, James. Not, Love you too. Good to see ya. Whether you're in the chat regularly or not, whether you um, have ever submitted anything or not, there's a month for this one. So yeah. even if you build something little, participate. We want massive yes. collaboration on this. Massive collaboration. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Well, how fun our Fabuland episode. Yeah, we'll do. Um, we will absolutely have. Um, we'll we'll put up um, uh, reference photos, Hi, James a Wendell. style ga a guide. We will do um, links to the Neo Fabuland instructions so that you can build like that. Um, and then from there, it, it's um, all in your hands. Yeah, Maraid, for sure. Reference reference photos will be there from like Lego product art. Yeah, we've got, I mean, we have all the stuff we showed today, plus there's tons more. So, um, gosh. I think, that's gonna, I think that's going to be it for today. This was one of our shorter episodes, but yeah. that's okay. But it was full of excitement. I love sharing the stuff that we got. Um, we Ugh, were so, so excited we were for the excited. mail carrier to show up. We're like waiting by the window <laughs> for the mail carrier. And there's some things at the post office that we'll be picking up tomorrow for yep. Wednesday's show. Yep, and people who um, have sent us um, letters and all, we have more to share than we shared today. Yes, we do. And so Wednesday, I don't know what we're doing on Wednesday. I think we're going to build. Yeah, we're going to build something. Yep. I'll pick something out. I don't know. We're going to build. <laughs> on the Tricky Bits building chat, we will do some building. We will build something. It'll we built be fun. Today, we built a Ferris wheel, and um, I took a bunch of cars apart earlier. So, yeah. So, you're welcome, Hornburgers. And thank you again, um, Andrew. For um, the awesome treats, I know that um, Logan is going to be super, super excited about See, that. Look, I made so. a little container, and we'll always have them ready for his <laughs> entrance. <laughs> All right, everybody. Nice and crunchy, too, the sound of L Logan happiness. Oh, no, he look, heard he, you. <laughs> he mm. heard the container. So thank you, everybody, so much for joining us today. We will be back on Wednesday at yep. 10 a.m. And until then, please stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask, and we will see you next time. Happy Bye, building. everyone. Bye.